Hey guys, so I really, really love the show, The Shannara Chronicles. I love the show, absolutely. So my favorite character is Amberly. so I really, really wanted to do a makeup tutorial and hair inspiration. Um, her makeup is very light, so that's one of the reasons why I really, really like it. It's very soft and subtle, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Right here I'm using um, Becca's foundation, and I'm kind of pairing it up with a Urban Decay um, powder, which is in Dark Neutral. So I'm kind of just putting that all on my face here and I kind of want a very natural look so I didn't want to apply too much foundation just enough to cover up my hyperpigmentation so yeah. Okay, so starting with the eyes, Amberly's eyes are very, very subtle, very natural. So I'm actually just going to use a nice brown color in my crease. And that's really all I'm going to add just to give it a little bit of definition. Not applying too much because, again, her makeup is very nice and subtle and natural and glowy. And that's why I love her makeup. Taking that same concealer, I'm going to use that underneath my eyes just to give my eyes a little bit of a natural highlight that's not so natural, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm actually applying that. I'm going to just blend that all the way in as much as possible. film Noir by MAC and I'm kind of just putting that in my crease area that's the only color that I'm going to use today on my eyes only because I feel like I want to draw out that natural that Amberly has in the show have a cat eye or anything like that so I'm kind of just putting on an eyeliner very thin and I'm also going to add a little bit of color just to bring out my eyes a little bit now Amberly doesn't really have this but I am going to add just a little bit of highlight in my tear dead only because you know I'm dark and I kind of want to add just a nice little glow look to my eyes so yeah I'm adding it and I am adding my favorite lashes, which are the 126 Allure Lashes. I absolutely love these. You can get these at Ulta. I literally buy every single one on the rack. And then I'm going to use a highlighter by MAC. This is their new one that they came out with this year. And I'm kind of just adding that in areas where the sunlight will naturally hit, just to give me a nice glow all over. Taking my Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills, I can't talk today. <laughs> Taking my uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight, highlighter, darn it, you know what I mean, contour kit, and I'm kind of just putting that on just a little bit. I don't want it to be too harsh because she doesn't really have too much contouring going on. So I'm just kind of adding just a little bit just to give my cheekbones a definition. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara on my bottom lash line just to give me a little oomph. And yeah, so then next after that I'm going to put on some lipstick. I'm going to use a nice neutral color. Well, that's a neutral color on me anyway. And I'm adding the MAC Viva Glam 2. This is like the very, very old lipstick. And then I'm using a NYX gloss. You know, their lip glosses are really cheap for like two bucks. So I'm putting that on right now. And just to give me a little bit of shine. And then we can move on to the hair. So I'm using a flexi rods. You can get these at Sally's, a big tooth comb, and a flat iron that my mom got me from Ross's. And it's actually one of the best flat irons I've ever owned. It's made by Bliss. 
So I'm just curling my hair with that and then I'm going to put the flexi rod in just to kind of hold the curl. And then after that I'm just going to basically take them all out and you'll see how it's going to come out. I swear to you that this may look difficult, but it's literally one of the easiest hairstyles ever created on this planet. It's really easy. All you're doing is just kind of bumping the hair and then you're putting a flexi rod on just so that you can get that look, that beach wave look because Amberly in this show, she doesn't really have like a really tight curl. It's more of like a nice wet wave. So I really want to get that look and in order for me to do that, that's kind of why I'm using the flexi rod right behind it and I'm not really trying to be neat or anything like that. So yeah, just curl however you wish and just as long as you use the flexi rods you will be a-okay So I'm literally just going to do this all over until I am finished. So I'm on my last one. So I'm going to keep just doing that until, you know, let it hold for at least, I don't know, five minutes or so. Literally, I don't keep these in long. Drink some tea for a little bit, you know, sip, 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 sip. And then after that, I'm just going to let them down and you'll be able to see how much of a curl you end up getting just from these little old plastic little rods. And you can sleep in them too if you want. It'll be tighter curl, but I didn't really want a tight curl. Um, yeah, and they're really comfortable too. So after you, you remove all of the rods, you want to just fluff up your hair a little bit and you want to give it a little bit of body because as you can see it's a little bit flat we don't want it to be flat we want it to have a little bit of body so we're just going to shake it up just a little bit just to give it a nice little I don't know give it some volume you know but yeah so after you do that you are all set and you are all good to go fluff it up just a little bit bam 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 and yeah really easy And the more you fluff, the more definition you will get. And that completes our look of the Amberly, the Sharana Chronicles, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, she's my favorite character. So make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe, guys, for more videos. Until next time, deuces, guys.